Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well you can still get Windows 10 and Windows 11 for free if you have a valid Windows 7 key and it is working on both systems apparently. So uh, there is a new, a new Win article that talks about it and also I've tried it on one of my machines and indeed um, with a Windows 7 key that was unused that I had behind. I was able to actually activate Windows 11 directly. So um, if you have lying around an old DVD with Windows 7 on it, an old CD, an old, or you have a computer that has a Windows 7 uh, key on it, then you can actually go and activate Windows 10, of course, if you do wish to have Windows 10. And in the case of a new machine with Windows 11, for example, you are able to actually get Windows 11 activated. What you could do is install Windows 11 without the product key first. And once you are installed, what you do is you go into your settings into the activation settings. Now, in the case where you installed a new Windows 11, what's going to happen is you're going to have a not, it's going to tell you it's not activated. So what you do is you click change for change the product key. And you enter the Windows 7 key that you have. And uh, chances are you're going to be activated within seconds. Remember that the Windows version that you have needs to match. So if you were on Windows 7 uh, Pro, for example, you can get Windows 11 Pro. But if you were on Windows 7 and um, the uh, systems that were actually, I don't remember what they called the, the more basic, uh, basic ones, uh, they had names. Uh, then you'll have to use the Windows 11 um, standard version uh, rather than the uh, Windows 11 Pro, the home version, basically. So um, it works, and it works even directly within Windows 11, which is interesting. A loophole that Microsoft never really, um, never really, really changed and never did anything about, even though they kind of mentioned that, you know, free time was over, they didn't do anything to prevent that. And I think it's uh, something they actually did on purpose to have as many people as possible on the latest versions. So, got a new PC, you're installing Windows 10. Got a new PC, you're installing Windows 11. Whatever version, you have an old Windows 7 key lying around, well, you can use it and activate Windows 10 or Windows 11 directly. You don't even have to do the steps of Windows 10 first and then Windows 11. You can activate Windows 11 directly with a Windows 7 key. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.